Welcome into Let It Ride, college edition. Turning back the clock just a little bit, reliving those glory days. And with that being said, we are set up for one very, very fun college football season, especially when you look at the Big 12 with several new additions. But at the same time, a newly revamped conference, new opponents, could make some wagers trickier than normal, and that is why we are here to help you at home uh, have the best betting edge possible. And we got to start with the local team, right? The Sun Devils, year two under head coach Kenny Dillingham, coming off a three-win season in their final year in the Pac-12. And we know the Big 12 will not get any easier. The hope is redshirt freshman Sam Levitt can help boost this offense. One that, remember, lost wide out Elijah Badger and Jalen Conyers, who both transferred. And then there's that conference schedule about that. The Sun Devils drew the six best teams in the Big 12 this season. Utah, Kansas, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, Arizona, University of Central Florida, all on the calendar. Plus, they've got a road game at Texas Tech. And Mississippi State comes to town just the second week into the season. Truly no rest for the weary down in Tempe. And when you look at the odds for the regular season win total, well, Vegas reflects the, the tough stretch ahead set at four and a half wins. Now the over with some juice, plus odds at around plus 142, meaning if you bet 100, you would profit $142. While the under, it's heavily favored at minus 176, which means you would have to put up $176 just to profit 100. So that's what we mean when we say it's a little expensive. And I hate to be this guy, but we have to take the emotion out of betting. I have to lean with the under four and a half here. The strength of schedule is no joke. And while I do believe parts of this roster did improve, I just don't think there's enough to justify the Sun Devils will win five or more games on the season. So with that being said, I am on the under win total four and a half for ASU in their inaugural season in the Big 12. As for the Sun Devils rival, Arizona, they have gone through some changes of their own, but they have much better stability entering the Big 12. Gone is head coach Jed Fish, along with some of his assistants and players, but the Wildcats still were able to keep quarterback Noah Fafita and wideout Tedaroa McMillan, not to mention their strength of schedule a bit easier than others, most noticeably compared to ASU. I don't know how, but Arizona managed to avoid Kansas, Oklahoma State, and Iowa State on that regular season schedule, making their over-under win total very realistic, sitting at 7.5. Now, the Wildcats, they do open Big 12 play against one of the favorites to win the conference in Utah. That will be a really good game. But after that, it gets a bit easier. Like we mentioned, that over-under win total for the Wildcats sitting at 7.5. The odds favor the over at minus 138. With the under showing us some plus money at plus 112. And I think for this wager, you, you can't overthink it. When you look at the strength of schedule, who they are facing and who they are not facing this season, you got to side with the over seven and a half wins. Couple that with the return of your star quarterback and wide receiver, Wildcats over seven and a half wins and potentially, potentially even contend for the Big 12 title. I, I'm all over that over. I'm sorry, ASU fans, please don't be mad at me. This is not personal, it never is, I promise. And, and speaking of that Big 12 title, here are the front runners. Utah, first year in the conference, doesn't matter, still listed as the favorite at plus 280 odds, bet 100 to win 280. And you gotta remember, Utah quarterback Cam Rising is back, which makes them a true contender as the odds reflect that. Kansas State right behind them with the second best odds at plus 420. And then you can see the gap is rather significant as you go down that list. For me personally, I'd sprinkle a little bit of money on Utah or maybe Arizona at plus 1100 as a long shot pick. You bet 10 bucks to win 110. Hey, it can't help. And if you really can't help yourself and you uh, ride or die with ASU, Okay, go ahead and bet a dollar to win the Big 12. You could win 120 bucks. That, that's a good return on investment, right? Okay, time now to widen our scope to the Natty, the national championship odds. And this year is bound to bring some upsets, you'd imagine, thanks to that expanded college playoff. Many more chances for the top teams to get knocked out of the CFP. And no surprise, Georgia there, the favorite to win it all. Short odds, too, at just plus 280. Followed by Ohio State, Oregon, 
Bama down the list also at plus 1400, but I would not sleep on Oregon either at plus 650 odds because we know anything can happen, especially this year, which makes college football all the more exciting. But because of that new format, I personally would steer clear of the Georgia odds. They're just too short. Uh, go with the team maybe with some more juice to their name because, like I mentioned, a lot more volatility than ever before in the world of college football. And, oh, baby, I cannot wait. And this is also just the tip of the iceberg for us this season on Let It Ride. Week one, right around the corner in the NFL. Can't forget about that. And all season long, we will have quite a few special guests helping break down the numbers because we know football is back, ladies and gentlemen. And we cannot wait to help all of you make a little extra green this upcoming season. And as always, Let It Ride.